as Youngstown State plays Detroit. We've talked about both of these teams already uh, this season. That includes a Detroit team with Antoine Davis, one of the leading scorers in the country. All right, Youngstown State is a one-point favorite. The total is 155 in this game. And Kyle Hunter, you're back for a second straight official play. What drew you to this game coming up tonight? I don't love taking high overs. Uh, I'll give that caveat to start with, but I think this one's really high for a good reason. Um, Youngstown State shot the ball really well this year. Detroit, a terrible defense. I don't think there's any question about that. Detroit puts up a lot of threes. Detroit is 50th in the nation in three-point percentage. Youngstown State, 337th at defending the three. We know Detroit's going to put up a ton of threes. They're going to have open shots here. Hopefully Antoine Davis and the crew's uh, threes are falling in a game like this. Both teams have been pretty good at second chance conversion uh, percentage so far this year. So quick second chance points. 63rd for Youngstown State against 282 defense of Detroit. So they're giving up a lot of those. 181st for Detroit on offense against 337 for Youngstown State's defense. So I think we see a lot of quick second chance points. Youngstown State shooting threes 21st. Detroit, 266. We're seeing some massive advantages here for the offense. Um, obviously, anything can happen in one game, but you go back and look and see what Youngstown State's been doing here lately and the pace that uh, their games are being played at. Last year, the games between these two were, were pretty high, and now they're playing quicker, both teams, than they were a year ago. I think this total is high, but not quite high enough. I'm going to take Youngstown State and Detroit over the total here. Matty Cox, it's a Youngstown State Penguins team that has won 12 games already this season. They come in to Detroit, where Detroit's lost three straight overall. They've lost six of their last seven. Again, Antoine Davis can fill it up. What are, what are your thoughts here, including Kyle thinking there could be, he laid out a very impressive case on a lot of threes being taken and made in this game. Yep. Yeah, the total got bet down to 155. So if you're back in Kyle now, you're getting at a really good time. Uh, Ken Palm has this at 161, just for reference. So a little bit of a, a shade down uh, from the odds makers and then some additional money on the under. So I think Kyle's zigging against the zag here. And I think he's got a good reason to with how offensive centric these teams are. Another uh, feather in his cap is that Gerald Adele, the double double machine, former four star recruit, uh, started his career at Texas, who's now made his uh, journey route to Detroit. He was a double-double machine when healthy, um, has been out. He might play tonight. I'm inclined to think that he will be limited, and, and if so, not as effective as he usually is. He's generally uh, pretty good for uh, the under, the more physical defensive presence, of one of which uh, very few and far between in this matchup between these two teams. Uh, so yeah, lots of high-level shot making. I think the pace is pretty, uh, pretty frenetic. Detroit Mercy's transition defense has not been very good. Youngstown is excellent in transition, uh, Dwayne Cohill kind of sets the tone there. So I think a lot sets up here for the over. And again, you're getting at a pretty good price right now. All right, lock in Kyle, who says over 155 before that number goes up as we're live here at 11 a.m. Eastern time for Detroit and Youngstown State in the Horizon League, a seven Eastern time game coming up this evening. Reminder, again, we will have time for questions and answers, as you see, in a couple of more games here in a few more minutes. We'll get to your Q&A. Do us a favor. Hit the like button. Make sure that you're hitting subscribe as well. We approached 3,500 subs. Kyle's been very confident that we could get there before the end of the month. We may get there by the end of the week, but we only do that with your help. Hit subscribe for us. Share the show out. More people are finding it. More people are finding us live. Guys, I keep saying this. I don't want to be a broken record, but you guys are with me all the time. Since the show began, we've seen the audience about triple or quadruple uh, about five or ten minutes into the show. So you may have missed an early pick here or an early pick or two here if you're just joining us. You can always go back and rewatch, but participate. If you've got a game that you want to ask about, comments, we generally get to numerous games in the Q&A. Get those going in the Q&A right now in the live chat on YouTube from BetUS. 